How's it going guys? Really quick, easy, cheap build today. I got a whole lot of work to do on a pretty big project as well as a potential collaboration. So we're keeping it about as simple as we can get. It's two sticks and a piece of string. See if you can keep up. We're going to be making what I have named hammer chucks because originally what I was going to do is just get like an oak dowel and then just cut it into two pieces and make it out of that. Uh, but the more I looked at pictures of nunchucks online, the more I realized that the sticks are usually tapered, like they're thinner at the top and thicker at the bottom. I would assume this is for grip. So I started thinking thinking how could I save myself a little bit of work shaving them down into a taper and so I like like I, I, I can probably skip this part right I used claw hammer handles so if you've been subscribed to me for any amount of time you know that whenever I do a wooden weapon I always like to stain it and make it look nice so I've got wood stain and varnish remover and all that but if all you're going for is functionality all you're really gonna need is maybe a couple of rat tail files or rod files or whatever you want to call them uh, some paracord uh, the two extra large claw hammer replacement handles and then a drill I'm gonna start off by cutting off this forked part right here just about where it starts getting wider And now as careful as we can be to keep the holes perfectly vertical, we're going to drill through on this side of this little lump right here and also on this side right here so you have two holes that go all the way through. I'm going to be using a 5 16 drill bit. I didn't mark out the holes so they're a little off-centered but it really doesn't matter that much. So we're also going to do the same thing with the other one. So now what we're going to do is drill directly in the center of the top of the handle so that the drill bit pops out inside this hole. And now you don't have to go to the second hole, you can stop at the first one here. So now we're going to do the same thing to the other one. So now you're going to use your file to make a little notch going from one hole to the other. And then I actually used a different file to take the corners off of it just to make it look a little better. But if you want, you can leave it like that. And now I'm going to do that staining that I was talking about. I'm going to use a two minute varnish remover to get rid of this polyurethane coat on here so that the stain can absorb into it. And then once that's evaporated, then I'm going to spread the stain on it and let it soak in. All right, all the construction's finished. Now all we gotta do is string them. So I've got a little screwdriver here and some pliers just to help with this. So first step, put the string into the top hole of one of the sticks. 
I pulled it about halfway through. This is four feet of paracord, by the way. Now I passed the string through the bottom hole on the same side that it popped out of the top hole. Pull that down. And now on the other side, I'm going to pass it through the top hole again. Then when it comes out here, I'm going to pass it through the bottom hole one more time. This is when the screwdriver gets useful. And now we're gonna pass it into the top hole and out the end hole. So now we've got both ends coming out of the top. Now you're gonna take whichever strand is longer and you're gonna do the exact same thing to the other one. And when you pass it through the end hole and out the top hole on the other one, this is when you're going to take your measurement. So just grab the string tightly, make sure your fist is fully flexed, and now string it just like the other one. Now I'm gonna pass this string into the end hole and out the top hole. Same thing on the other side. Now through the bottom hole. Through the bottom hole on this side. Now I use some pliers to lift up the paracord on this side and I'm going to pass the end underneath, over, underneath, over, and under. And I'm just gonna continue this until I've got this whole part wrapped up. And now I've seen people use hot glue for this, but I'm gonna use some super glue gel. I'm just going to take a razor, sever this rope pretty close to the end right here. I'm just going to smother it a little bit in this glue. And as you can probably guess, we're going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Now we're just gonna let these dry. And there you go, pair of hammer chucks. Now I know I've shown you guys how to make a whole lot of pretty dangerous weapons here on my channel, but I feel an extra compulsory need to ask you guys to please be careful with these things. Not because I think they're so much more deadly than like all the other stuff that I've shown you how to make, uh, but just because it is so much easier to hit yourself with these things than a lot of the things that I've shown you how to make. But I'm not your mom, uh, just saying it would make me happy if you would be careful, okay? So enjoy me hitting something with nunchucks for the first time ever. Now I'm not even gonna pretend like I know how to use these things. I'm I'm basically just gonna whack it. Please God, don't let me get hit. Oh boy. I got a little dent. I was pretty scared. I didn't go as hard as I could. We'll see what happens if I actually give it a pretty good whack. It split. Let's see if we can destroy it. Definitely getting there. Man, that smell is just so nostalgic.
So even if my technique was basically non-existent, uh, I definitely whipped these things around pretty hard and there's absolutely no damage or signs of stress on them. I think I hit the table a few times, so there's some really small dents, but uh, as you know, hickory is a very, very tough wood, and I'm actually surprised that the uh, polyurethane coating is holding up so well too. As I mentioned before, please be careful. Maybe go ahead and buy some foam nunchucks on eBay to practice with or make some out of PVC with the same method. But that's all I got for today. If you guys want a little sneak peek to what that big project that I was talking about in the beginning is, go ahead and check out my Instagram at ZNotAlpha. And thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.